Some food for thought. If a chair were pulled across a straight path with constant velocity, or as close as we can get it, and the ball was thrown straight up, will the ball go straight up and down, or in an arc? So which is it? What's going on here? Well, in physics, there is a concept known as frame of reference. Frame of reference is a term used to describe a specific set of conditions and criteria that outline a point of perspective. You've probably already used it whenever you solve physics problems, and even in other disciplines. Consider our original question, will it arc, or will it go straight up and down? Here are the options in depth. If the ball is thrown at this point, and it travels up and down only, it should land at that original point on the ground. Or, if it travels in an arc, it will follow the chair and land back down after having traveled sideways, in addition to moving up and down, into the person's hand. So the ball went in this direction. The ball arced keeping the forward motion it had when it was moving in the chair. This is because, from the perspective or frame of reference of someone in the chair, you're just throwing it up and having it land back down. But, from the perspective of someone standing still, that ball would be moving at the same speed as the chair. That is, it's in the same frame of reference, so when the ball is thrown up, it has both an upwards and a forward's momentum. So, does the ball arc, or does it go straight up and down? The answer is actually... yes. The concept of a frame of reference shows that both answers are actually correct, but it depends on the perspective you're looking from. Side note, once something is moving, it tends to keep moving in that direction. That's why we wear seat belts, because, like that ball, we are moving at the same speed as the vehicle. So if the car were to be stopped, well, we'd fly right out. The concept of the frame of reference isn't just an ideal, nor is it just one scientific principle. It's a phenomenon that occurs just about anywhere that perspective is involved. Think of the physics of the car from earlier, or, more abstractly, the same event can be experienced differently depending on the context and culture of the person viewing it. In art, for example, optical illusions can appear as one thing, but change your perspective and you may see it a whole other way. Both views are true at the same time. Frame of reference is incredibly useful and can also be used to help generate other concepts like relativity and the space-time continuum. And if that sounds like it's a huge leap from a ball on a chair, it could be that you just need to change your frame of reference. And who knows, maybe applying this concept in novel ways will help discover something bigger and better. Or remind you to put on your seatbelt.